I've been doing some more painting on these uh, various mushrooms that I've got and uh, one of the things I wanted to show you is the way that I sometimes use the clear um, the clear acrylic to thin down some of my paint um, and I'll kind of brush it on here now I also have a little bit of real thin brown and because this piece has some kind of highlights of brown in it I kind of layer the colors together. I'm also going to use a um, towel to kind of spot it a little bit and that helps me get a little bit more of the character um, of what we had already. Now over here I've got a spot I haven't started on yet. I sort of got the idea to video to record this part way through as I was doing it and so I'm gonna spot some of this on here and now over here we've got more brown. It looks like maybe um, some of the brown glaze kind of got mixed with this. And so I'm gonna add a little bit more of the different browns that I have and thin them out a bit, uh, trying to mix and get a color that's got a little bit more going on, but not quite so much that it's overwhelming. And using the sponge to, or I mean sponge, this is a paper towel, a wad of paper towel to kind of pull some of this off of there, I can start to get a sense of the kind of layered color um, that we have from the glaze itself. Uh, now notice the glaze itself has kind of a lot of different uh, tones happening at the same time. And so I've brought a little bit of green in here, but I don't want it to overwhelm. When I first put the green on the brush, there was too much. Uh, and so I just play around with mixing different colors together so that I'm getting closer to what that original was. I also sometimes let it go a little bit past where it originally was, uh, where the paint or, or where the gla where the the error, you know, the mistake was, so that those areas past um, kind of blend in, so the the drip starts to disappear. And um, right now it's fairly obvious because of texture that these are different. And I may need to get in and work on the corners, kind of the edge where the grinding began. I may need to get that a little bit more opaque because it kind of, as it dries, it kind of shows up a little bit more. I also need a white and I'm out of white, so I'm gonna have to go get some more of that. But I'm gonna be able to put that white on top of this. And then once the clear goes over the top, those start to blend in with the texture as well. Remember, I'm gonna wait on the clear until after the, the glaze, or I mean, after the acrylic has dried a little bit. Um, on, which one is it? This one, I've done the, the circle, on the little blue part at the bottom, and it's, it's actually pretty hard to see already. I haven't gotten around to doing the clear yet, um, but already it's pretty, pretty well blended in. Um, on this one, I did the brown right under, right kind of to the side of where those little blue things are. And again, it's starting to blend in fairly well. And so with a little bit more fussing, it'll get to the point where it's in, in, invisible.